Hello, this is my first ProSonic tutorial. Uh, today we're going to go over the Tile Layout Editor. This editor allows you to change basically the, the landscape of the level. So, uh, and, and it's done tile by tile. Now, uh, here in the upper left hand corner, uh, you'll see the words Tile Layout Editor when you enter it. You use the space bar to enter it. And there you see in the upper left hand corner the words Tile Layout Editor. Now uh, you see this box where uh, my mouse is and it shows you the tile number uh, under the mouse cursor along with some properties that are associated with the tiles. Now see, a tile is, is one big 128 by 128 image. It's made up of smaller uh, 16 by 16 blocks. It's showing you the properties of each block. The block number and if it's a platform and things like that. Now let's change some tiles. We can change the tile that is under the mouse using the plus and minus keys. Uh, and you can cycle through all 256 different tiles. Tile 0 is actually a null tile. It means it's empty, it's blank. The major problem with this is that it takes a while to cycle through all 256 tiles. So you can use the forward slash or the asterisk key to cycle in 16 intervals instead of 1 intervals. This allows you to cycle through them a whole lot quicker. However, some people like to use the mouse exclusively. They don't want to touch their keyboard. So you can use your mouse wheel to cycle through the tiles at whatever pace you want to. Now, personally, I like this way a whole lot better because I think that it's a lot easier, a lot quicker to find the tile you're looking for. But that's me. You can make up your own mind. Now, if you have a specific tile you want to use multiple times, but you don't have to cycle all the time, you can use Control C to copy it, and then you can use Control V to paste it wherever you want to, and you can do that as many times as you want. Now, this should speed up the process of making a level and make it a whole lot more enjoyable and less time consuming. Now if you want to get rid of tiles and set them to zero, you can use the delete key. The only problem here is you can't really delete the tile underneath Sonic without him falling. The solution here is to use the camera mode, which allows you to explore the level without using Sonic to do it. You can use either the S or the X key, and you'll see all F's at the top letting you know that you're in the camera mode. Now camera mode is really nice because you can go anywhere in the entire level and edit anything without worrying with Sonic. Now you can use the shift key to scroll the screen faster. The camera mode is very similar to the debug mode in the original Sonic games except that you can't turn to an object and place objects on the screen. You'll probably be able to do that in a later build. Now if you want to turn back into Sonic Press the S or the X key and it will reappear wherever your mouse cursor is. Now one feature I've added to the engine that I think is especially useful is the ability to import a 128 by 128 image from a PCX file or a BMP file. Now this is really a step up from what ROM hackers usually have to go through because it simplifies everything. It maps out the entire tile for you and everything. Now to do this, press the tab key and then you'll see a screen asking for a file name. Now remember, you're using either a PCX or a BMP file. Type the file name and then press enter. Now on the screen here is the bitmap image that I loaded. Now this particular bitmap obviously has many different tiles I can choose from. And I'm using the arrow keys to navigate through the image. This is very convenient because I don't have to have multiple bitmap images for multiple tiles. I can use one file for all the tiles I need. Now once you locate the tile you want, position your mouse on it and press enter. 
and it'll replace the whole tile with the new image you selected. And that image will be seen on that particular tile throughout the entire level. Now Sonic falls through it because there's no collision applied to any of the blocks in the tile. Now this can be corrected using the collision editor, but that's for another time and another video. Now at the current time, there's some optimization problems with the way it imports tiles. It doesn't get rid of the blocks that are no longer being used by any tiles, but that'll be fixed in the future. Now when you've changed your level and you want to save it, it'll save as dump.pzf. Now to save your file, you hold control and press D and you'll see a message saying that it's been dumped. Now whenever you want to reload the file for editing or to play it, you simply use the F1 key and you'll see a screen where you type the file name, press enter, and it'll load right up. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you for watching. I plan to have more of these, so keep a lookout.